Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your installer code for a 2 gig edge security system back to its factory default of 1561. Now we actually recommend keeping the installer code at its defaults of 1561 because keeping it at this code, it's not a security risk. Um, you can't disarm with this code. Um, it's just used for getting into programming. Um, it, so even if you forget this code, you forget this default 1561, you can always go and look it up later. So it's, it's just an easy option. Um, so even if the worst comes to worst, oh no, I forgot my code, I can go and look it up on Alarm Grid, hopefully, <laughs> and you can um, rediscover what the code is. So it's, it's just really recommended. Like I said, not a security risk, just really good to do. So we're going to go and show you how you um, default the code. And there's actually two ways that you can perform um, the, the, re the reset of the code to 1561. Uh, you can go and manually change it, um, which is what I'm going to show you first. And then you can also, you can do a user settings factory default, which will reset the code along with a few other things. And I'll talk about that when I get there. But first of all, let's show you the basic way. Just if, if I wanted to just change the installer code, nothing more. Um, one interesting thing, it's not in the user's menu. Um, a lot of people will get lost and not they might not be able to find it because it's not along with the rest of the users, like the master users, any other users that you've added. It's in a different spot. So um, I'm going to show you how to get there. It's, it's actually question 101 of advanced programming. Um, I think I got that menu right, but we'll see the actual name as I get into it. So anyway, we're at the main screen of our 2GIG Edge. We're going to press the settings icon at the bottom right corner. And then we need to provide a code. Um, so we actually need to provide our installer code. If, to change your installer code, you need the current installer code. If you don't have the current installer code, you're not going to be able to do this because um, you need to get into the installer toolbox. So we'll do 1561. Ours is at the default. And now I'm going to show you the first way to change the code manually. You see there is a user's menu, but that's not what we want. We want to go down to installer toolbox. And we have to do the regulatory statement. Apparently, this is our first time going in. If this is your first time going in, you'll see this as well. And we'll, we, have to, we have to scroll through it, because otherwise, the Agree button won't be illuminated. So we did that. We'll press Agree. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into Panel Programming. And we're going to go into Advanced Programming. And we're going to go into System Configuration. And you see right there, Question 101, Enter Installer Code. That's what we want. That's what we're going to be changing right here. So um, I'm going to change the code. I'll change it to 2222 two, 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 um, for our purposes. And uh, kind of one off thing about the edge, it doesn't give you any confirmation that you did it. There's no save button. There's no, you changed your code successfully or anything. But I did indeed do it. I can back out now. If I go back in, you'll see it stays at 2222. Two, two, two. So if I back out all the way into, um, into uh, to, uh, uh, the settings menu of trying to get in, uh, let's let's see what happens if I do um, 1561, the default installer code. Invalid access code. I changed the code. It doesn't work. So uh, let's try um, the, the code that I changed it to, 2222. Two, two, two. That got me in. So you see that the installer code was successfully changed. Now, uh, the other method for changing the installer code is to do a factory default of the user setting. So that's, that's what I'm going to do here. Again, you have to have um, the installer code to get into this menu. You're not going to be able to access it if you just have the master user. And so what we're going to do, we're going to choose Installer Toolbox. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. I'll start from the very beginning, just so there's no confusion of how to get there. So we're at the main screen of the 2 gig edge. We're going to choose the, the settings icon. We're going to enter in our current installer code. We changed ours to 2222. Remember, it's usually 1561. Uh, that's what you should keep it at. Um, and so there's an option down here, Installer Toolbox. And then we can choose Restore Defaults. And this is where the action is going to happen. This is where we're going to do it. So you see we have a variety of options here. The only one that we need to toggle green and enable is Users. We need to get that one on. And so when I press Restore and then confirm it, that's, it's going to um, do uh, the user's default. Now, what does that mean? A few things are going to happen. It's not just going to reset the installer code. It's going to uh, reset the master code back to 1111. It's going to clear out any users that you've added. If you've added more user codes, they're all going to be cleared. You're going to have to reprogram them if you want to continue using them. And of course, for our purposes, it's going to reset the installer code back to 1561. So it's going to do quite a few things there. But this is a bit loaded. So if you only just want to change your installer code, you know, changing it manually, the first process I showed you might be the preferable option. But this one works too. And you can perform other defaults while you're here if you want to. If you want to clear out your system and, re and get rid of your sensors and zones and reprogram everything, make a, a fun weekend project, you can go do that. Um, you, can, you can do the network reprogramming and re set up your Wi-Fi connection, do whatever. But users has to be enabled. Users is the one that has to be on. The others, they're all optional. So we have users enabled, and we're going to choose Restore. 
And then it's going to ask us um, to confirm we are going to press the red Restore button, and it's going to be restoring the settings. So we'll wait for that. The settings have been restored to factory default. So we're good to go. So we're going to press OK. And now I'm going to go, um, I'm going to get out of program, going, go back to the home screen, and I'm going to try to get into programming here. So let's see. We had 2222 two, two, two as the code. Let's see what, ha what happens if I try that. Invalid access code. It's not the code anymore. It's restored to the default. So now if I try 1561, which is the factory default, that works. That got me into programming. I can go into an, an I can go. I don't necessarily want to censor time, so I can go into installer toolbox, and it actually makes me redo the regulatory statement, which is kind of interesting in itself because um, I reset everything. It has to, you know, do for liability reasons, show me this. And so I have to scroll through it, and I press agree, and I can get back in. I can get back to the defaults menu if I want to. Um, I can go anywhere I want. Um, or that's not that, that, that looks like a return button, but it's not. This is the return button. Um, so <laughs> I can do panel programming. I can do advanced programming. I can go into system configuration. And I can change the installer code there again. You see it changed back to 1561. But I'm going to get back to the home screen. Uh, we're just going to repeatedly press the small bar, uh, small return arrow in the upper right corner, and we're going to let it say its thing. And um, so we have um, restored the, ins the installer code back to its default of 1561. Now, remember that we recommend always keeping this code at 1561. If you forget it, you can look it up later. Um, just to, you know, if you somehow hurt your head and lost memory of your code, you would know you, to look it up and you would be able to get back in. I know even 1561 is a bit of a random number in itself, but that's what it is. And it's a great way to get into programming because you can always look it up if you need to. So, And rem remember, it's not a security risk. I can't um, arm or disarm the system with the code. Let's, let me just show you that real quick. If I arm stay, I go to disarm, 1561. Doesn't get me in. Access not authorized. That doesn't work. Um, you know, and if I ever if I try another code that doesn't work, let's see if I did 777. That says invalid access code, different message. So it acknowledges that that was a correct code, but it didn't let me in. But our master code is at the default, so we'll do that. One, 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 one. And there we go. We just arm our system. But that is how you reset the installer code back to the default of 1561. If you have any questions about the 2 gig edge alarm system or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.